Hey everybody, Vapologist back here again with a review of the portable Iolite Whisperer Vaporizer from Oglesby and Butler. Wow, it's a mouthful. This vape hails from Ireland and is definitely the second most unusual vape I've ever tested behind the original Iolite. Like its sibling, the Whisper uses butane to heat metal, and that creates a conduction vaporizer chamber. That's a bit crazy, but let's see if they've improved upon the original, which is definitely a vape I liked after I got over the butane aspect. Straight out of the box, the Whisper's got a non-padded case, the eye lights was padded, and some cleaning tools and a grinder card. I really like these grinder cards. They can be a bit messy, but they're really ultra convenient and a smart addition to the package for sure. Okay, first we need to fill the unit up with some butane. Eyelight recommends that you use high grade butane that has been filtered many times. I did read on some forums that these don't like low grade butane or using multiple brands over time. So start with one that is good and stick with it. So with some quintuple filter butane, I fill it up. There's a window that shows the butane level and upgrade from the Iolite, which had no window and always kept you guessing. The mouthpiece and the chamber are one piece. So pull the mouthpiece out like so and load it up. While it's out, we can take a look at the heating chamber, the area that's getting hot and using conduction to heat the herbs. Don't pack the chamber too hard or the airflow is going to get impeded. Okay, once it's loaded, first turn it on by sliding the clicker down just a little bit. You should hear the gas flowing. Then you push the clicker down a little bit further, slowly, and it should ignite internally. You should hear this happen. It's a sort of a slow roar sound. An orange light will turn on on the side and is going to go off after approximately 45 seconds to tell you that it's up to 10. The gas will go off occasionally. This is okay. It's got an internal thermostat that turns it back on when it needs to. Which I think is actually one of the most impressive parts of Iolite's vapes, that they can have a thermostat with this flame. That's cool. The Whisper is definitely emanating heat, and there's a slight smell of butane when it first kicked on, but it definitely goes away within a moment. I found that it was a little warm, but the side opposite the mouthpiece was much less so, so that's the best place to hold it. Okay, the Whisper is ready to use. Just slowly inhale and enjoy your vapors. Once the unit is up to temperature, your herbs may not be just yet, so it may take up to like another 15 seconds before you actually see vapors. As you draw, you may cool down the chamber momentarily, but it quickly turns back on and stays at the required temperature due to the thermostat. The chamber holds enough for two to share, but it's a portable, so you're going to be reloading it often. No portable really has a big chamber. As long as you have a can of butane with you, this thing is going to last for a very long time. I found that a full tank would last me up to 10 sessions, depending on the size of the session. The unit comes with extra mouthpiece tips, but unlike the Iolite, no extra mouthpiece extension. The tube is a little short, and the vapors could definitely use a few more inches to cool down. It does fold away for travel, which is nice. Overall, I was impressed with the Whisper. I really didn't like smelling the butane, but I liked not being tied to an electrical outlet. Butane power opens doors for this vape that didn't exist for electric models. The loads were never overbaked. They seem to have the temperature regulated pretty well. I like this design. It's a little unusual and doesn't look at all like a vaporizer. It travels nicely and definitely survived the drop test. This is a pretty good vape. After being skeptical at first, I'm feeling that the Whisper should be a part of my daily rotation. If you want to know more about the Whisper, head over to vaporizersreview.com for more info.